This is something incredible. Hi guys, it's Luke from Lux Mushrooms. We are in Slovakia and it's Saturday the 7th of August 2021. And this is the first Boletus edulis that we have found in Slovakia this year. So let's check how it looks like. nicely grown and we will check if it's healthy it seems like there are no worms in there just need to clean it properly uh, but this is a very nice find stop found another tree this is the biggest one A small one but the stamp is quite huge and the third one So three fresh pieces. There are also these orange tasty lactariuses. This one is called Lactarius deterimus, something like that in Latin. It likes to grow under spruce or sprouse trees. I like this place because often you can already find many mushrooms just by walking on this forest road and look into the forest. So the first mushroom we have found like this is this Boletus edulis up here. Looks really beautiful but I will go closer a bit later. The reason is there are more mushrooms that we have found after that. The first one was this, I think it's the red cup bolete, one of the lessinum species. And behind it you can see another one. Uh, but just if you look a bit left, this is something incredible. I have never found any find like this. We will take the big ones, maybe we will leave here the small ones and of course I will take many pictures here. So let's start this madness with this beautiful edulis. Again it's deeply rooted. But feels quite firm, I hope it won't be buggy. It's white from the bottom so it means it's very fresh and now let's move to that huge group of of the lessinum species I actually found a few more of them and there is also a very little Boletus edulis here but what I will do with this one I will just cover it to camouflage it and it can grow bigger. So this is the huge family. I just need to get closer from another side. I will put the edulis here and we'll start from the side. Now I I have found another smaller one next to it here. It's big enough to take. 
the first one the second one is really huge I usually don't find such a huge pieces as this one and it's d deeply rooted so it's difficult to take out I almost have it just look how beautiful it is so this is the second one this is the one that I saw as the first one and this is basically perfectly shaped specimen cover the hole I will take these three guys and put them next to the edulis and this is not even half of this find from here There are few small ones like this one, this one or this one. I don't take those because they are too small and we have many bigger ones here that we can take. So this is the first one, the small guy, the second small one. and the bigger ones now I think the Latin name is Lecinum Piceinum they like to grow under spruce trees as well this one is the biggest one, definitely. So this is the family. I'm not sure if I can take it in one hand. Maybe I will use my second hand as well. And I will try to get here so we can see all of them together at one place. So this is really incredible find, the best find of this species in my life. And we are still not finished because I told you I found few more of them. I just forgot to take them and they are still very close to the original place so this is a smaller one but it's quite tall and the bigger one here Amazing. I always cover the holes so the mycelium should recover quickly. I knew about this place from the last year, but I didn't know they would grow in such a quantity here and also in such size. So this is the collection amazing there is a lot of cleaning which is in progress this is in the basket so far all of the lecinum guys are completely healthy so far you can see this guy for example it's completely clean inside so it goes to the basket as well and I can show you the health of some of the others like 
I will clean them and we can see together if there is good or bad stuff inside. There is something here, so I'll just cut it away. And that's it, another beautiful and healthy guy. This is my favorite spot. They like to grow here in the moss under these young trees. And I found a nice Boletus edulis, which is a bit untypically colored. It's pure white, but this sometimes happens. I also found a Scarletina bolete nearby. And from the distance I can see some orange mushrooms, but I don't know what they are. We'll check later. Oops. The Scarletina bolide is nice and fresh as well. And this is my second basket where I only have those Lactariosis. So now you will see why I call this my favorite spot. We will start with this small Boletus edulis. But here this is a huge surprise. A family of Scarletina bolides. I think it's four of them. If we continue up, there are some Rusulas. Another Scarletina bolete here. Actually, these Rusulas are the orange mushrooms that I mentioned previously that I saw from the distance. And we have some nice mushrooms here as well. This is another Scarletina bolete. And behind it, there is one Boletus edulis. Second one, a small one. Third one. And fourth one. So I will cover the tiny one to camouflage it and take the others, but I didn't notice there is one more here. So a fantastic place. They grow exactly at the same places as they did last year in this time. So let's start with the edulises, the fresh small guys. Really nice pieces are growing here. So the second one again cover the hole. Third one. And the last one we will take this one. And now I will continue with the Scarletina bolis. This one has a long stamp. That looks nice. Then this is the one with the huge hat. The stamp is quite thin. 
but it looks nicely shaped as well and I took a picture of these three guys or actually four guys in the family and I'm wondering how they will look like when I take them so I'll start from the left side this one looks very nice quite fresh and this is probably a bit challenging to take it out but it's possible and this is something again something amazing they all look healthy it's very heavy the color is beautiful and I believe there will be no bugs inside or at, at least not much so this is what we have found at my favorite spot few guys of Boletus edulis species then some Scarletina bolide and the Lactarius and only two of them had some bugs in the stamp but the others are healthy there are so many raspberries we decided to sacrifice one of the baskets and take them at first I saw this royal fly agaric but then I looked under this tree and spotted something very well camouflaged you can see there is a Boletus edulis here and behind it there is another one and these two pieces are definitely good to take with me the root is again quite deep so I need to be careful to not damage them I want the mushroom hole the stem is quite thick it's the same for this guy really clean inside okay some final tuning will be done by a brush but you can see there is no single hole of worms or bugs we found two small guys here we are not taking them but there is something more I'm wondering if you will be able to see it already or not yet but this is another site that reminds me some fairy tales because it's not common for me to find such beautiful groups like today so we have three penny buns here this is the fourth one and there is one small scarletina bolide 
back there so I will take some pictures of course and we'll take them so it's time to pick them I will start with the smallest one I believe it will be healthy because it's, it's so fresh this one got a hit from a slug but it doesn't matter another beautiful piece now the biggest one this is basically perfectly shaped so these are the four guys but there is one more not far from here probably just three meters another beautiful piece this one is a fatty one there are two more guys of the lacinum species Actually four, but two of them are so small that I just let them untouched so they can grow bigger. This one is very nice. Middle size. In comparison to the other guys from today, it's quite small, but very well shaped. And another one here. Really beautiful mushrooms. So this is the end for today. You can see we had two baskets. One was dedicated to raspberries and one to mushrooms. For the mushrooms I'm very happy because we found four different species that we took and we have all the mushrooms very nice and healthy. For the raspberries that's a very nice bonus. So thank you for watching, if you liked the video click on the like button, if you don't want to miss my future videos click on the subscribe button and see you next time, bye bye.